For example number four, we have a pontoon. So these are like the floating things on pontoon boats. I'm sure you've seen those. Um, so we have a pontoon. The shape is, it's on page 461. Uh, it's kind of this torpedo-ish looking thing. So you can look it up. It's on there. Um, the pontoon is designed by rotating the graph of y equals 1 minus x squared over 16 from negative 4 to 4 about the x-axis. So I've already graphed that um, parabola here. And we are revolving this around the x-axis. So what this is going to look like is it's going to come down here and it's going to be three-dimensional. So, um, you know, you can think of this as this round thing here. Okay. And like I said, page 461 has a better picture of this. Um, so we want to find the volume of the pontoon. Since there's no hole in this one, this is a great candidate for the disk method because we don't have to worry about inner radius or outer radius. Um, so disk method is what we want to use here. All right, so now I have to think back to disk method. Disk method is pi and then our radius squared. Pi, remember pi r squared? Um, we've already got a disk uh, kind of drawn in here. Here it is. Um, and it has a thickness in the dx direction. So uh, everything in our problem is going to be dx's. All right, so in the x direction, we are going from negative 4 to 4. And then we need to think about the radius of all of these disks. It's just determined by the function. So 1 minus x squared over 16. And that's the setup. I can't get that minus sign, so whatever. It's fine. Minus. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be our setup for that. Now, um, one thing I want to show you is uh, notice this thing is symmetrical. So if you didn't want to evaluate from negative 4 to 4, you could actually evaluate from 0 to 4 on this thing and then double your answer. And that just might make our problem a little bit easier. You don't have to do that, um, but it's just an option here. I'm going to FOIL this out. That gives us 1 minus, let's say it's going to be negative x squared over 16, negative x squared over 16, so negative x squared over 8 plus, that's going to be x to the fourth over uh, 256. All right, of oh, dx. All right, so we're going to take the antiderivative. It's going to give us x minus 1 24th x cubed plus um, it's going to be a big number. Uh, 256 times 5. Is that 1280? Let's hope so. 1280x to the fifth. And we are going to evaluate from 4 to 0. Okay, and the reason, remember the reason I doubled it is so that I could plug in 0 rather than negative 4. It's just going to make the problem a little bit easier. So I am going to plug in 4. Um, that gives me 4 minus, uh, I'm not even going to pretend to not use a calculator on that. Uh, let's see, 4 to the third is 64. So 64 24 is going to be 8 thirds. And then 4 to the fifth is 10 24, 12 80, uh, 4 fifths. Okay, so we have 4 minus 8 thirds plus 4 fifths, which is going to be um, 2 pi times, you can get common denominators, uh, it works out to be 32 fifteenths. So hopefully, yeah, um, the answer is going to be 64 pi over 15 is the volume of this. Um, I think the book might do this one in cubic feet since it's like an actual boat. So 64 pi divided by 15 is um, 13.4 cubic feet for each of those pontoons. All right, now, if you had wanted to do the shell method for this one, um, the shells would have been in this direction, right? What would it look 
like this. And so that would have been in the dy direction. So this function up here, you would have had to solve that for x. Um, and then integrating it, it would have been doable. You would have had to use a UDU substitution for it. So, um, so this is definitely a case you can do both ways. Um, just the shell method would have been more difficult because it would have had a UDU substitution in it. Um, we're going to see one other example in the last video.